Welcome back, everybody. We got a variety stream going tonight. October's coming to a close, so we are going to go through a humongous list of games and try to figure out which ones are spooky and which ones suck. Uh, first one on the list, Castlevania Dracula's Revenge. This is a list of hacks that I'm starting with. And then I will get into, like, the official list of NES games. And I, I'm, I'm going to try and go through, like, all of them and just find all the uh, horror-oriented games. And we'll just see how many there are. And I bet you most of them will totally suck. Maybe some won't work. Maybe some will be semi-decent. And I really doubt I'm going to beat any of these. Um, I just want to do quick plays. And then we'll do a nice little review of the game. And then we'll move on. So first one, this is a Castlevania hack, Castlevania 1, I believe, called Dracula's Revenge. Here's the intro screen. Made in 1999 by Rias Projects. Let's do it. So no difference with the intro. But that's okay. These people try. Got ourselves a knife. But what the fuck just happened? Whoa. Okay, I get it. Alright. So far, so good. Look at the lovely background. Uh, nothing really makes sense. There seems to be some kind of weird glitch going in, on at the top of the screen. Plenty of hearts and money bags. Uh, now, with a lot of these hacks, like the level layout isn't the best, but I mean that's that's why the pros do it. And, Regular people do it. They, they try. Some spooky ghouls. There's trees up there. There's this block of gray matter above my head right now. That doesn't really make sense. I don't know why that's there. Lots of spooky ghouls. What a great start. Is, is everybody scared yet? I know I am. I like how the display is different at the top of the screen. It's a nice change up. Bonus features to this game. There's still that glitch going on at the top of the screen though. It's, it's like the game doesn't know if it wants to exist. Oh, and we got two paths to go here. So we go up or down? Go down. I think I made a mistake. One thing. It's just giving you whatever fuck item it wants to. Swamp so thing will not stop coming. And did that just take me right back to where I was? It, it sure the fuck did. Okay, well that was the wrong way, so we're going through the door. like to get to the boss. I'm not sure. This looks like it was made by somebody that didn't care too much. Oh! Oh, I couldn't believe this. Axe. They just give you fucking everything. Alright, first boss, right? Batman. Got him. Okay, well, I just want to see what the second level looks like and then 
probably going to move on. Because this just looks like a, a glitchy mess. Oh, look at that. They got some Medusa heads down here. That's cute. Looks pretty similar to the original. It's just like they changed up the color palette. They changed up the locations of some of the blocks and the candles. And... I'm done. Alright, next game. So if I had to rate that one, I'd give it a uh, 3 out of 10. Alright, this one is called Castlevania Halloween 98. Oh, I'm so spooked out already. This is this one's gonna be good. I wish there were just like some jump scares or something. Just, you know, pop a zombie up there and just scare the shit out of us. Oh, this doesn't look very different. Yeah, this looks pretty much like the original so far. Nothing special. Nothing. Alright, this is a little different. Is that an angry kitty? Or is it a dog? I think that's an angry kitty. Platforming. Got a bunch of candles down there that you can't fucking get, so that's that's clever, thanks. How tempting. What's the point? Is this just the ambiance that we're going for? We just needed some romantic lighting for this game. This does not seem very unique. Seems kind of boring. And I, I did decide, uh, you know, I was going to do some Castlevania games for... October, but I changed my mind because Castlevania is a series that you gotta take some time with it. And like, I, I would really like to try to beat some of these games. I think that the only one I've beat from the entire series is uh, 2, Simon's Quest. That's the one everybody hates the most, but that's, that's the one I beat. Got to Dracula and Castlevania 3, and Castlevania 1 I've always had a hard time with, but I've never really committed that much time to it. Alright, that's the first level. Well, this hack kinda sucks also. That's, that's all there is to it, it, it seems. Yep, okay, it's the same shit. Alright, moving on. What else do we have? Uh... Now some of these, I'm just going based on the names of the games, so I don't know if they're going to be horror games or horror-based hacks. It's just kind of a shot in the dark. I, I haven't played any of these, really. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, Dead Bubble Bobble. Let's see what this is about. Bubble Bobble. This is the cutest game ever. Alright. Uh, looks like it's the same again. It's been a while. Wait, what? 
What am I? It's just a headless bubble bubble guy. They just cut his head off. Well, that's clever. Yeah, that seems to be it. Okay, moving on. Another solid attempt. Dead bubble babble. Whatever. Okay, we got dead double dragon twins. Dragon 2 hack. Did they redo anything about the beginning? No. Violence ruled the streets of New York City after the nuclear war, even blah 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 blah. Yes. We know this. Is it just gonna be a graphics change? Yeah, but the title of the game is Dead Double Dragon, so. Oh, he's decapitated. Okay. That's it. Great game, fellas. So, a bloody headless corpse. But it's Double Dragon 2. you knee him in the head when he doesn't have a head? Okay, I get the point. Alright. Eh, not very good. Next. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We got Dr. Manson. So is that supposed to be Charles Manson? Well, that's both creepy and clever. Let's try level 10. Put on my favorite song. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, so this is supposed to be Charles Manson. And he's always oh, throwing his drugs. Okay, I get it. Yep. Well, that's kind of fucked up. Uh, yep, I, I get the point. So it's Dr. Mario, and they just, yeah, they just creep that, that shit. Alright, well, that creeps me out, because, uh, wife likes to watch murder stories, and we might have watched a couple documentaries about Mr. Manson and things that he have, had had done, and I don't really like it. it. It leaves me a little uneasy. So, good job on that game. Good job. Dr. Manson. That gets a thumbs up for me. Alright, next on the list. Ooh, oh, there's some things on here that we cannot play. I think they will be a little bit uh, too graphic. Dragon pervert. <laughs> I'll pass. Uh... Evil Kirby? Let's check it out. This is how you draw Kirby. Oh, fuck. There's Evil Kirby. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's evil. Great. So, again, this is gonna just be a, a, a graphic swap. Same game, he's just pissed. Oh, innocent little Kirby. He's finally had enough. I mean, 
I would like to see a little bit more variety. I mean, don't just, like, make the, the exact same game and just change the graphics. Like, when, when you make a hack, you, the idea is you can put your own interpretations into the game. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Evil Mario. Oh, he's a little Satan. That's, that's cute. I like this one. I like this one already. Oh, the clouds are black, everything's bleeding. Goombas are little devils. Whoa. Pipes have cracks. What? It's the exact same game. I like the redesign. That's, that's pretty cool. Look at that! Look at the ghost! I wonder what this is going to look like. It is spooky. He looks kind of fucking stupid though once he gets big. These, these ghost turtles, though. That is cool. Okay. Had enough of that one. Good job there. That was Evil Mario. Uh, what do we got? Easy Hell Mario. Oh, this is OG Mario. <laughs> we got a hell block in the middle. Looks like that's the only difference. Yeah. Shitty job, guys. Next one. Let's see what we got next. It's uh, Fester's Quest is on here, and it's it's just Fester's Quest. It's it's not even a hack. I, I guess it'd be a hack. Do I even dare click this? I thought about doing this one for Halloween, but man, fuck this game. This game is just fucking terrible. Look at Uncle Fester just chilling out, enjoying the warm moonlight. Wearing his dunce cap. I don't know who the fuck thought of this game, but... Wow, what a... Bad idea. It's the exact same game, isn't it? Turbo controller! Yeah, bitch! This is just Fester's Quest. There is absolutely no difference in this game. Alright, well, fuck that. I am not doing this game. I'll come back to it some other day. But honestly, fuck that game. That game is terrible. Freddy vs. Jason. Super Mario Bros. 1 hack. One killer game, two killer game. Who the fuck is that supposed to be? Is that Freddy? What's going on? What is that? <laughs> what is this? Is that a white strawberry? Oh, he's Jason! Oh he's Jason! Awesome. What the hell is that, though? Oh my 
gotta use your imagination for that one. What's, <laughs> what's that? I mean, I guess if it's Freddy vs. Jason, then you're just you're caught in a nightmare. But this does look like a nightmare. Good job, Jason. It did, the flag said JV. For Jason Voorhees. Sounds like Tiffany's gonna make herself some fish. Alright. Good hack, good hack. Let's check out... Uh... Ooh, Gauntlet Triple X. We're not doing that one. Ghosts and Goblins Hard Type. I... Will... Yeah, Alright, I'll check it out. As if it wasn't hard enough in the first place. Sure, the fuck can. These, that, ew, man, that game. Alright, what else do we got? We have. Evil Dead. Let's check it out. There's that chainsaw. Shit, there this is my boomstick! Shop smart. Shop S smart. Let's see what the story is. Oh, you gotta do the story for us, come on. Actually, I just saw an advertisement. Hey, um, uh, why can't I think of his fucking name? Ash. Oh, shit, what's his name? Bruce Campbell, yeah, alright, Bruce Campbell's... Oh, shit, there's the story. Anyway, Bruce Campbell's got a new movie coming out. It's called Black Friday. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna release this movie on Black Friday. It's gonna be about the shopping. After yeah. Thanksgiving, yeah, it's a, and it was Bruce Campbell on, on the cover of the ad, and it's like, oh man, does he, does he have his boomstick? I, I sure the fuck hope he does. I hope you all have your boomstick on that day. You don't ever go shopping the day after Thanksgiving. People are probably planning it right now. We're gonna kill millions. Yeah, I bet you it's gonna be a good movie. I missed the story. I just I need to read this again. Ash had almost forgotten that night long ago, but now the ne Necromon Necronomicon had returned. Ash was pulled back in time to face the evil dead once again. This time, the stakes are higher. Ash must save Sheila, stop the dead, and make it out alive. 
What a story. Okay. Alright, so let's register name. I will be... L... Ash... Uh... I... I... L... Ash. Alright, that's me. I... L... Ash. And it's all the two. But look at him, he's got a chainsaw arm, he's got a shotgun. So it's another graphics file. This is, it seems to be more in reference to Army of Darkness. Which, in my opinion, is by far the best Evil Dead movie. I don't know if you guys seen the Evil Dead series, that was pretty good. But it pales in comparison to Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness is one of the best movies of all time. Yeah. Zelda 2, though. Straight up. Bruce Campbell would be proud. I bet you he has no idea that this actually happened. Or maybe he does. I mean, he goes to Comic-Cons and a lot of that fan shit. What the fuck is that? Thumbs up on that one. Next one. Uh, we got... I'm trying to just scan through this quickly and just, just find the ones that might be horror-oriented. Uh, not much there. All right. Let's go to the second half of the alphabet. Lots of Metroids, lots of Marios. Mauntlet. It's a gauntlet Mario hack. Mega Man, Mega Girl. Mega Man 1977. They have to play some of these games someday. <laughs> Mike Tyson's bite off. I wonder what that's about. Hmm. Well, if you know anything about 1997 boxing, you'll know. Mortal Kombat Bros. We'll give it a shot. Hey, it's a little Sub Zero. Look at him. It's the same shit though. It's a just a Mario. Alright. Let's, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, oh, wow. No, we are not playing that one. I'm not even going to say the name. I No way. <laughs> There's some pretty raunchy shit on here. Totally inappropriate. Uh, a lot of these seem a little risky. Like, I don't actually want to live stream some of these games because I don't know what the content is. I just... Okay, Satanic Freak Bros. We'll do that one. One fucker game. We're playing as Satan. Um... Super Mario 1. It's just got a lot of pagan shit. I, I don't know what would possess somebody to create some shit like this. Like this. It's 
not even that cool. It's just fucking creepy. Like, hey, I want to meet the creator of the ga that game. Fuck no, I don't want to meet the creator of that game. He's, a, he's probably a t terrifying person. I, I don't understand. Boy, we might be done with, with the hacks, because some of this shit is just uh, a little bit too far out there. Um, yeah, I can't even click on half of this shit because I don't know. Like, it, it just might show some shit that'll ruin my reputation. All right, so we are going to the official games. And uh, let's see, I had a list, but there is a lot of shit on here. And, uh, all right, so first one, I, I, I definitely want to do this. What a shitty game. All right, it's Beetlejuice. LJN's finest. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Go. What do you think of when you think Beetlejuice? There's Michael Keaton. And isn't that the intro song from the movie? Fuck no, it's not. do 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 it's showtime! Oh shit, it even says it. I, have, I haven't played this game, I've just watched it. We've all seen the Angry Video Game Nerd episode. We know this game is fucking trash. Alright, so, how do you do things? Alright, that's... B is stop, A is jump. And there seems to be some sort of glitch going on above my head. like the movie, right? job on that one, LJN. Another classic. Let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is going to be a good one, I bet. It's 1992. The game came out in 93, so this is one of those later NES games. The Super Nintendo had been out for a while already. And then some motherfucker out there was like, I got a great idea for a game. 
and this is what happened. No theme music, no intro whatsoever, just there you go. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Okay. Vampire. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Is there music? I don't think there's fucking music. That's the first sound that you get to hear. Um all right, let's let's go ahead and start the game. A journey through Transylvania. Got a shitty right hook, shitty left hook. He can jump like Mario. He controls like shit. Let's see what happens when he falls in the water and he dies. Oh shit! Hey, look, a question mark, just like Mario. I didn't rip this shit off at all. No fuck do I get down here? Love how the camera moves every time I press down. Time. There's a skeleton. Um, and not 30 seconds into the game, I am completely stumped and stumped. Did I miss something? I mean, I just fucking started. Looking up in the sky. Um, I don't know where to go. You duck down and take a shit. Maybe if you shit enough on this block, down. What do you do? Well, this is definitely gonna require a walk. I will beat this game. The buttons do nothing though. Pause, select does nothing, you jump in the water, and it kills you. Am I supposed to die? So let's try dying. So it takes an hour to die, it's a fucking adventure. Yep, he's dead. Nope, no, he just died. That's it. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else to it. He's just dead. Who would, you know, you bought this fucking game? And Super Nintendo had been out for, what, three years already? You buy this and you just get home and you're like, Mom, I'm gonna go play my new game. And she's like, oh, that Bram Stoker's game I bought you. Here, go play it, honey. You put it in and you... There you go. Here's the first fucking screen. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing. I have no idea how to get down there. And it's obviously the right way. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm like pressing every possible combination of buttons and nothing fucking works. Like I'm I'm really curious as, as to like is it just broke? Oh fuck that game. I'm making a note of this one. I'm gonna come back to it at a later date, and that game will be defeated. Probably not. Okay, what else do we got? Bump and jump, burger time. Castlevania series, we're going to skip. That's going to be a long one. 
Oh. Here's the good one. Ooh, I don't know. Should I do it now? Yeah, we gotta do it now. This is chiller on NES. I am going to take a short smoke break and just let you absorb this beautiful intro screen. But we will be right back with Chiller on NES.
Okay, we are back. Sorry for the delay. My nicotine addiction gets the best of me every once in a while. This is Chiller on NES. This was a very controversial game back in the day. I'd, it's 8-bit horror at its finest, and it was a light gun game. I don't have a light gun. I am playing on an emulator tonight because I, I can't hardly own all of these games. Actually, I... I want to do a quick price check. I just want to see how much Chiller costs. And this would be used, unless... I, let's see what the completed box would be. Uh, holy shit. Okay, so... Out of the box, 90 bucks... Box and manual, 200. Brand new, complete inbox, mint condition, $1,200. I won't be getting this one anytime soon. Just wanted to check that. Uh, so yeah, it was controversial because, I, I, as far as I know, this is the only NES game released in the United States that has like brutal gore in it and nudity. So, I'm giving you a warning right now. There's there's a little bit of uh, shit in here that you don't want to show your kids. So, if you're under 18, please leave the room. Yeah. Here we go, chiller. And I wish I had a light gun, because this game would be a lot easier. I tested it out the other night. I've never played this game before. I've only seen it. And, holy shit. Okay, did I... I think I accidentally picked light gun. Yeah, I fucked up. Alright, it's gotta reload. Ah! 1986, though, so... We had one fucked up individual that uh, decided that this was a good idea. One number of players, none light guns used. Here we go. Level 1, shoot all this shit. So, I mean, imagine back in 1986, like, this was pretty fucking gory. You're shooting heads. Ah, shit. I just wonder if I'm gonna be able to get past the first screen without a light gun. Fail! Alright, let's try again. You gotta move real quick. Monsters. Ooh, you can shoot that. Okay. Three, two, one. Running out of time. It's a tough game. Try again. So close! Get it! Yes! Good shooting! Ectoplasmic tabulator. Alright, on to the second stage. Is it gonna spell something out? That's possible. Are you guys spooked out yet? Have you could 
be a sandwich? What kind of sandwich would you be? Um, a BLT. Because they're delicious. Look at this guy. No, don't shoot the puppy! Not worth anything. So my, I'm, I'm just trying to shoot ghosts. I'm gonna run out of time again. Ah oh, man, three away, all the way from the beginning. I just wanted to get to the room with the tits. fire or something like that. Yes! Got it. Alright, so this time I'm not going to try to shoot the dog. Just gotta shoot the spooky ghosts! That fucking creepy thing. So in 1986, I was three years old. If I were playing this, I'm pretty sure I would have been traumatized for life. Did it. Alright, level three. What's it gonna be? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, they took the tits out of this one. Unless it's that last level. I don't know. But yeah, you just shoot these corpses apart. What else am I supposed to be going for? Hit the button? There we go. Shooting these corpses. What about this guy? It's really hard to know what to shoot. What not to. Huh, well, so much for my tits. Apparently this version uh doesn't have the boobs. Still a classic. Can you imagine playing this with a light gun? Oh. Oh, oh. That's the trick right there, you gotta shoot that arm right up front. Level two, no problem. Kill this fucking face. Evil Oni. Don't shoot the dog. No, it just doesn't do anything. Like, you're just trying to get the monster meter. Okay, so on this one, we're looking to shoot tortured bodies. Oh god, I just blew his head off. So all this shit's counting, right? Yeah. That doesn't count. It's, it's so hard to know what you can and can't shoot. 
Yes! Got it. Alright. Oh, there's the tits. They're covered up, though. Just blow off her torso. We got this person in the guillotine. It's, it's a pretty twisted game. Yeah, for 1986 Nintendo. Nice. So... <laughs> oh, and that's it. Yep, back to level one. So you just keep doing the same shit over and over again. That's that's the whole game, pretty much. As far as I know, I, I don't think there's anything else, though. So I'm, I'm happy we got to do this game. But that is chiller. On NES. The most horrifying NES game. So, on to the next one. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Dark Man. That scares me, but for a different reason. That damn Liam Neeson movie. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, Dr. Chaos. I I had this game as a kid, and I think this is a good game. What do you do? I seem to remember, like, being able to get a little bit into this game, but there's just so many dead ends in this game. It's, it's a puzzle game. It's also very hard. And I love the intro, too. So you go in these rooms, and now you're at a point-and-click game, and what they don't tell you is in order to change the menu options, you gotta hit hold B and press up or down. That's how you, you see how the arrow's moving now? They don't tell you that shit. So you can hit these, nothing there. You can open this, open sesame, there's nothing there. There's a gun. Get the gun. Go to the next screen. That's the door we came in. And then we'll check. Nothing. No way. No way. No way. No way. Alright, open this. And we'll go. Okay, open. Get the medicine. Terrifying, right? It's a 
with the respawning fucking bat. Well, then go in this room next. We'll see what's up. Open sesame. Let's go to the next game. This game was called Dr. Chaos. What do you think the next one's going to be called? This will not take very long. It'll be a quick one because I don't know what the fuck to do. But here we go. Oh, a good old Toho classic. Game designed by Advanced Communication Company. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll. Bandai's finest. Alright, let's play. I haven't played this game very much. I've, I've tried a couple times. I hear it's a solid game. It's a masterpiece. Okay. We're just walking through the city. Everything's cool. Yeah, we're just having a, a happy day. Oh, why'd he run away? Oh, why'd you lay a bomb? Yeah, you just gotta walk by that shit. These guys have fucking murderous intent. Watch it! Oh, no. And now... We're turning into... Up and B fires the psycho wave. This doesn't 
make any sense. Anybody that's played one of the knows about this game, but we don't really have to go over it yet. Dead. Yep. That's it. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, I'm dead. Game over. You're dead. Your friends are dead. Go fuck yourself. Next game. Let's see here. Spooky games. Spooky games. At least we got those two out of the way. Fucking terrifying. Fester's Quest, as I said before, we are not touching that shit. I hate that game. Uh, we'll go Frankenstein. Frankenstein. It's my Jewish buddy. The monster returns. Frankenstein has taken our beloved M. First of all, Frankenstein is not the monster. Frankenstein is the doctor. It's Dr. Frankenstein. He created his monster. Everybody fucking knows this. So now who am I? I'm fucking Johnny Cage with a cape on. Trying to save the world from a zombie monster. Dr. Frankenstein's monster. It's not. creatures in the park. And... Really, what's going on? Oh! Evil dragonflies! Somebody thought that, hey, I got a good idea. Why don't we put uh, some bumblebees and dragonflies in this game? That makes a lot of fucking sense. Get Peter Bakeman in here with the Ecto One and just fucking solve this whole problem. Can I go in these? Oh, I can go in the buildings too. Oh, hey, look! There's Professor X. He's sitting on his fucking throne. Young lad, listen to my desperate plea. Slur. What is it? Frankenstein has destroyed our village and taken my beautiful Emily. Please find him and bring her back. Here, take this potion. What? What? Me? You are our only hope. Good luck. What? 
don't you get the fuck up and help? This would be a lot easier if it just wasn't just me. You know, there's a whole village here, right? You've acquired more life. So we got an RPG aspect to this. Oh, is this the first boss? You fight the Grim Reaper. Intel. This totally makes sense. fuck is that? No! Oh, what are you doing? Oh no! So a pterodactyl just picked me up and took me back to the beginning of the level. That is what I'm understanding right now. Well, at least I got my meat stick back. Beat your ass with a hearty ham hock. I gotta, I gotta fight him again. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, dude. Do, do I gotta kill this thing? What the, no! So the pterodactyl just took me back to the beginning of the level. Uh, I'm going to call this one done. Because I don't know what the fuck to do on this. Um, that's another one. Got to come back to it. Got to look it up. Great game. Frankenstein. The Monster Returns. What a classic. Uh, next one on the list, Friday the 13th. Uh, we beat that game earlier this month. A crowning achievement. Uh, let's see. Gargoyles Quest 2. That's another one with Castlevania. I, I just want to stream that because uh, that's a good game. That's an RPG, action RPG. Very good game. So let's go... Did Ghostbusters a few weeks ago. That's a disaster as always. I'd like to see somebody actually beat that legitimately. And I mean legitimately. I gotta see it done live, because I, I don't fucking believe it. Um, but we're gonna go Ghostbusters 2, and we're gonna take another short commercial break, and after these messages, we'll be right back.
Continuing down the list, we got Ghostbusters 2 next. And I, uh, I bought this game about a month ago and the fucking thing got lost in the mail. Showed up about, what was it, a week ago? So thanks a lot, U.S. Postal Service, for all your hard work. I know you're understaffed. Everybody's understaffed right now. So thanks for getting that game to me. the demo. It's just the Ecto-1 just crashing into shit. Go ahead. You can make it. Crash again. Oh, oh no, he crashed. He's killing some of these spooky ghosts. I just imagine, like, it's, it's drunk Dan Aykroyd driving this car just completely infused with this crystal skull body. I need a laugh track. Elvis lip. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's all right. That's it. Yep, I lost. Well, first thing, you gotta get the hang of the fact that the B button is the jump button. Slimer's pooping on us. Uh, I'll 
take one. Am I, I, I... Look at what's going on here! Why am I shooting up now? Oh, it's like, um... Dark Castle. That's, that's some shit controls right there. You can't kill these fucking things. Uh -huh. I, got, I have to watch it. Oh, no, no. Okay, you can skip that. Alright, this is possibly one of the worst games I've ever played. Uh, actually, the first one is worse. The first one is worse. So should I just shoot up the whole time? It's me. Can't kill that. So you can kill the slimers. You gotta dodge the spiders. Wow, this is some shit. Oh, did you hear that? <gasps> what happened? It's the same sound effect from Bart vs. Space Mutants again. So this this game was made by playing like a sim maker, like some subsidiary of I'm not gonna make it past the first screen, am I? Like like a remote. I love fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. I, we have more games. I, I want to keep going, but there's there's so many more games. Okay, next one. Oh, Ghosts and Goblins, we did. Ghoul School was last night. So close to beating it. I will come back to that game and beat it. That's that has become a passion. Uh, Goonies? Is Goonies a Halloween game? I've never seen fucking Goonies before. I, and I don't care to. I really, really don't care to see that movie. Yes, we'll have to watch it someday. Home Alone, we'll do that for Christmas. You know it. Come on the show, Macaulay Culkin. I love you, bro. Uh... The Immortal, that could be a horror game, but that's another one. That's that's gonna be a full playthrough. Uh let's see. Not much in the case. I tried Crazy Creatures last night and uh, I thought that was gonna be a spooky game, but it turns out it's a puzzle game. What else do we got? Uh, Magic Johnson's Fast Break. That's a horror game in my opinion. Ah, now we've got to a classic. Finally. All right. Maniac Mansion. I fucking love this game. And this this is a, a, a horror game. It's It's a scary game. Let the story tell itself. 20 years ago today. Good old George Lucas. You created Star Wars, you created Maniac Mansion. At least you put your name on it. Have you ever played this game? Is a point this was a TV show in the 80s, and as far as I can see, it had nothing to do with the video game. And it was just a weird show. Very creepy. I recommend just 
doing a Google search of Maniac Mansion, the TV series. Just checking it out for a little bit, because it, it was fucking weird. So basically, a meteor crashed into this dude's backyard, and he was corrupted by the meteor. So he kidnapped this dude, Dave. He kidnapped his girlfriend. And it's Dave's job to go rescue his girlfriend with his various friends. So you get to pick three characters, and you have to have Dave as one of them. Dave's just like the all-around Mario, you know, he sucks, but each one of these characters has a special ability. And they also have their own theme music, which we gotta go through, because I love it.
So now we're breaking in our stuff. This is gonna be a short play for I just, I just like the ones. Bloody cheats on. through the games because it's all short plays tonight so let's see there's not too much left I mean it de depends on your interpretation of a, a horror game or an October based game the mutant virus I mean, that could be. Let's see, what else? What else? Oh, Shadowgate. Yeah, I think... Uh... Oh, Bart versus the Space Mutants, too. That's another good one. Uh, let's do yeah let's finish it out with Shadowgate let's see where'd that go there it is a true spooky game and I mean it like this game scared the shit out of me it's and it's a point and click game that's that's a wild thing, but it's like this game is really creepy. Yeah, use key one on uh, the door. You can't seem to find a key hole. It's 
just open the door, then. The door is open. It's the door leading into the castle shadow chamber. Well, wonderful. Let's go inside. so many torches in the game. So there's definitely a time limit. And I obviously don't remember what the fuck I'm doing here, so... Let's go back. Solid soundtrack. I gotta say, this... Deja Vu and Uninvited, I think, are some of the best games on NES. Just so good. And this is all it is. It's just... Okay, point and click, point and click. I think the dragon's in there. We don't want to go in there yet. Just get it. A broken fragment of a wooden ladder hangs from the opening. As you go down the trap door, you realize you took a big step. The ball is quite And we are dead. Yeah, I really want to do a full playthrough of this game, too. Oh, wow. So many games. So little time. Anything else towards the end of the list? I know Uninvited's on there, but that's an, another one. I just wanted to get the, the shitty Halloween games out of the way. Which we sure the fuck did, because there's a lot of them. Oh, there we go. Werewolf. And Zombie Nation. Let's do Werewolf, the last word. <laughs> Fuzzball.
I don't knock? What, what does this mean? I'm a little confused about this game. Ninjas? readily available, like, why, why fucking deny me? This game sucks. I just want to see what's over there. It's over there, yep. That's a tough job. Get it. Well, why wouldn't I not? One more game left on the list. And it is the letter Z. Zombie Nation. Nineteen ninety, Meldak of America. Oh. Oh, it's this. <laughs> I'll, I'll give this one a try. Oh man. 1999, what appeared to be a harmless meteorite crashing in the Nevada desert had turned out to be Dark Sea, evil alien creatures with horrible powers. By shooting strange magnetic rays, Dark Sea had turned the helpless nation into zombies and had brought the Statue of Liberty to life to do his dirty work. These rays had also given him control deadly weapons, but none were more powerful than the legendary samurai sword, Shura, with the great head of the samurai. Namakubi heard that the sword had fallen into the evil hands. He set off immediately for the United States, for only he possessed the strength and knowledge needed to recapture the magical sword and free the United States of America. Combination. Here we go. Oh, fuck. This is a very hard game. I remember this one now. So you are the floating. 
exploding head of a dead samurai flying through New York City. I think this is like New York City. It was DC. I didn't catch the name. Yeah, we're, uh, we're dead. That's it. Game over. shot at me. Game over. Alright, well, solid run on that game. I, not really, but I really like this game. So there's several games that are going to be picked back up in the future. But for now, I would like to thank everybody for watching Safe Slots Gaming tonight and just check me out on the various social channels and uh, tomorrow... I'm hoping we're doing Luigi's Haunted Mansion or Friday the 13th. We'll see what happens. And until next time, you guys have a great fucking night, man. Thanks for watching. Peace out.